Hello and welcome. My name is Kai and before I started to focus on this YouTube channel, I used to work as an architect at SAP for more than 18 years. I'm still a big fan of their technology and innovation and in this channel I would like to share with you what I keep learning about it. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can deploy a large language model to your AI core instance on your SAP BTP business technology platform sub-account. In the first part, I will focus on creating the necessary configuration and deployment following the paradigm of infrastructure as code. So actually, I would like to do this in Python within a Jupyter notebook so that you can easily follow up and adopt it to your needs. The Jupyter notebook with the code I'm using is shared on my GitHub account. The link to it is in the description of the video. In the last part of the video, my AI-generated assistant will give you a very quick walkthrough how to create the configuration and the deployment manually and interactively within the AI Launchpad application. And with that, let's get started. This is option one on how to create a deployment of a large language model on AI Core. And here I have a Jupyter Notebook, which is also part of my GitHub repository. And the link to that one you will find in the description for this video. In the first part of the notebook, I have listed a few prerequisites and further links. So as we are using Python here, you need to have it installed. You need to create your AI Core instance already in your BTP sub-account. Here is a link provided on how to do so using the service marketplace and then just creating an instance. You also need to create a service key for it, which you can then use for accessing the API here from our Python SDK. Uh, you should take note of the SAP node, which is listed here, uh, because it contains which large language models are available in which region and under which technical name and this is an information which will be required later on for making the deployment or for actually creating the configuration which will be the basis for the deployment and optionally you may have the cloud foundry cli installed this can help you to download your service key for your ai core instance so that you can easily make use of it here Based on the prerequisites, we can now move on to installing the AI Core SDK with pip install AI underscore core underscore SDK. This has successfully completed now. Now we need to download the service key. In case you have not yet created a service key for your AI Core instance, you can do this in BTP Cockpit interactively or via the Cloud Foundry CLI. Similarly, we have the same two options to download it. You can either do this via the Cloud Foundry CLI or using the BTP cockpit. The resulting file will, will look slightly different in both cases. So therefore, in this code cell, we have two options of how to access it. This line is if you have used a CF service key, the Cloud Foundry CLI for downloading it. The other line, which is now commented out, would be if you have downloaded it manually from BTP Cockpit. Please also take note that if you use the Cloud Foundry CLI for downloading the key, you need to remove the first line from this file because this is just uh, outputting a line like it's now downloading the key. This of course makes the JSON file as such invalid and this file, uh, this line needs to be removed from the file and the file saved. When I now execute this code cell, it will just load my key.json file and output the API URL just to prove it has been loaded successfully. Now that our credentials are successfully loaded into memory, we can instantiate a client for the SDK. Was successful. And we can move on to querying the existing resource groups in our AI Core instance. We expect that the resource group default is already present and this is also the case and default is the only one which exists in my AI Core instance. This is exactly according to expectations. 
Now there are two ways to identify which models can be deployed in this instance. One is, like already mentioned, we can use the documentation in the SAP node, which is again linked here, to look up the technical names and in which regions these are available. Or we can do this API call, which will give us a list um, of executable IDs. So this is basically the sort of a runtime which can host multiple models potentially and then gives us a list of which models it can actually host on such an executable. In this example, we want to create a deployment for GPT-40. So therefore we need to identify in this list that the technical name is GPT-40 and the executable is Azure OpenAI. These are the two values we carry over to the next code cell and then we can create a configuration. I will skip this step now because I have already created the same configuration before and there is one thing to mention as at the time of recording this video it is not possible to delete a configuration once you have created it so therefore I'm not going to execute this code cell but in your case if you have not yet a configuration for the model you want to deploy just go ahead and execute this AI core configuration create. I will instead now just query my existing configurations uh, and therefore also can show you that I already have one for Azure OpenAI as executable and the model name GPT-40 and the name is GPT-40 which yeah, seems to be a typo here. Nevertheless we uh, do have already a configuration and I will now just copy the configuration ID because this is what I need in the next step when I actually want to create a deployment. So far we have just configured which large language model we want to deploy by creating this configuration. And now in the next step we actually create a deployment. So this is a running instance we can later on access via the API. So I pasted the configuration ID of my GPT-40 and based on that with the next statement I can create a new deployment. It gives a response and just to verify that we have a deployment for this configuration ID we do a query on the existing deployments and because I already had another deployment before we now do have actually two deployments. And optionally I can again list what these deployments are and both deployments with different IDs are referring to the model ID GPT-40 and the model version latest. After we have successfully deployed our large language model to our AI core instance we of course want to test it. For this I have another notebook here in which we first of all install the Generative AI Hub SDK. That's the SDK we need for consuming the Generative AI Hub. It's already done and installed on my computer so I will move on to the next code cell. This is similar like the one we had in the other notebook so we are loading our credentials from the key.json file. This time we are injecting them into environment variables this is the most easy and straightforward way to consume them with the SDK and to make a secure connection to our AI core instance. When we now execute this code cell it just outputs the URL of the API to prove that it has been loaded successfully. Now in the next code cell we actually consume the large language model. For this we import chat from our SDK and we provide an array of messages to the large language model, a system prompt and a user prompt. The user prompt asks the question what is cool about SAP BTP. We then instantiate a client with the model name GPT-40. 
and when we execute it, it will trigger the large language model and we will get back a response. And here is the response from GPT-40 with some statements about the SAP Business Technology Platform. So we have successfully created a deployment for our large language model in the Generative AI Hub of AI Core, and we have verified and tested how to use it. As promised in the beginning, my AI-generated assistant will give you a very quick walkthrough how to create the configuration and the deployment interactively with the AI Launchpad application so that we have this topic completed. I will give a quick tour through the process of creating a configuration and deployment using the AI Launchpad. The AI Launchpad is an application we can subscribe in our sub-account and then link with our AI Core instance. It provides us with an UI to manage our instance. For deploying an LLM to the Generative AI Hub, we need to start by creating a configuration. We assign a name, the scenario, foundation models, a version, and an executable. Which models are served by which executable can be found in SAP Note 3437766, which also linked in the description of the video. I will create a configuration for Mistral AI in my example. After a click on Next, I will enter the technical ID for Mistral AI Large Instruct as found in the SAP note. I specify the version as latest and click Next. Nothing to be entered on the next screen, so I move on with a click on Review, check the details, and hit the Create button. Once the configuration is created, I can click the Create Deployment button. I will find my new deployment and its status under the menu item Deployments. As soon as the deployment is in running state, it's ready to be consumed. I would like to thank you for watching my video. In case you like my content, feel free to subscribe to my channel, click a like for this video, and with that, thank you and goodbye and see you soon.